Ask the Messengers. You should also know that cocaine use does not only affect the person who is abusing the drug, but it also hurts and affects those who are closest to them, their families, their friends, their loved ones. Uh, the people who are right by them, closest to them, are the ones who also suffer the effects of this drug. And so today we're going to share just a few stories about uh, how families have been affected by the drugs and those who are using. Yeah, it broke my relationship with my family. It caused my life to be unmanageable. Um, I wasn't able to do a lot, but wanted to use drugs a lot. My family, we're all in the lifestyle. My family used drugs, used drugs. At 17, I left home because of my family and, you know, my dad and a lot of chaos in the family. We had murders, we was on TV, it was a lot. So I left home and I was smoking a lot of weed and I found someone to take care of me, the club owner. And um, I was on my own. Uh, it affected my family uh, by, uh, well, currently I'm separated from my wife and my children. Um, uh, I lost their trust. I've scared my family. Um, some of them have turned their backs on me and disowned me. And I'm just now uh, building relationships back. It turned my family, my whole family relationship. I have three siblings. I have a mother and a father. My mother passed because of my drug use, a liver problems. But I was always with my mother at home until she, until she felt like it's time for me to go. It infected my sister. She, she limited herself to me and affected me and my brother relationship. How did it affect my relationship with my family? Uh, well, that's a good question. It just, just no relationship. No relationship really with family during that time. My other family mem members that didn't indulge uh, were always trying to um, pull me away from it and, you know, get me involved in other things, you know, other facets of life other than just the dope. It affected my family very bad. It was disturbed to find out something like that. Um, I was um, tormented by some family members when found out I was using drugs. Um, I became homeless numerous of times using drugs. Um, they didn't want me there. Um, they didn't want to talk to me, you know, bothering or nothing. Doing this show is very important because I want to get the word out and let people know that recovery is possible. Don't hate your family members, please. Don't hate them, okay? Because they didn't give up on me. They didn't give up. They just let me go and they started praying because prayer works. And listen, because he has an answer. God has an answer. You just have to listen for it. Statistics show that the percentage of people who will relapse after a period of recovery ranges from 50 to 90 percent. Ask the Messengers, the program that deals with substance abuse, real people telling real stories. Every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. on WMYD Detroit TV 20.